up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite today, and these are my top 10 sales of the week. What up YouTube, where the devil are you? Hope you're alright out there in reselling land. Um, yep, these are my top 10 sales. As I said, I'm catching up on these. It's not of the week, I think this is from the... 20th of December to the 26th of December so yeah um, so just before the Christmas period so keep that in mind of how shite they are <laughs> um, yeah sorry I'm a little bit behind on these sorry about the wobbly hand I've explained before when I've tried to do these more professionally you know I'll get a lot of comments going come on man what are you doing yo Steve you're like a rebel you know, you're fighting against the man and stuff. What are you doing getting all, like, technical and stuff, having your face in the corner of a screen and stuff? So, you know, I stopped doing them because I crack under peer pressure. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll try and not be as wobbly. I'll try and make it not feel like you're on a roller coaster or, you know, getting seasick and stuff like that. So, right. In at number 10 of your top 10 sales of the week. Um, these are some Twisted Gorilla Beige Grey Elasticated Jogging Bottoms. Size, blah, 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 blah. Um, these were ones I picked up um, because I'd picked up some other kind of gym bottoms and then went for some more right money. The other ones that I picked up were probably... I like seeing as like an old school wrestler would wear like... Um, they were like a spec. They're like, you know, old school like jacked up wrestlers. They've got short like tiny legs out there, so they've got like these baggy gym bottoms. And I thought these were the same kind of thing. They're kind of a little bit baggy around the crotch area, but these weren't the same thing. Um, so I took a punt on these. I think these for how much they cost me? They cost me two pound. Uh, I'm guessing they're from a cancer research. But yeah, these cost me two pound. They went for thirteen ninety nine. There was no best offers on them or anything. Um, and I made a profit of £5.68 on these, but yeah, a little bit of a, you know, what is, what's the word? I can't think of the word. A little bit of a fail, that isn't the word I'm looking for. But a little bit of a fail of what I thought they were, I thought they'd be worth more, but still, made a fiver on them. Uh, up next, in at number nine... Number nine. Now I don't like this. I don't like having badges in my. Um, yeah, I don't like having badges in my top ten. I see that as a bit of a fail week if I've got badges in them. So they might say three ninety nine, but I think these. So it was three for a tenner that it went. Oh no! So they went for the one for three ninety nine. Somebody sent an offer of three pound for. So no. Sent an offer of three pound. I've accepted the three pound, and it was three of them. Hang on, how have they done that? I don't know. I'm not sure how they've done it. Maybe they sent like three separate offers of three pound, and I've just accepted them because they're after three of them. I can't remember. Um, but as you can see, save the tree. Use a pen tell. Automatic pencil. Um, somebody these went to the states. Somebody when I first listed these tried to get these before. I'm trying to get me to. Um, send them Royal Mail. Um, I do all my kind of international shipping through GSB. I just find it easier. It, it's just easier. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to get into all individual pricing for different countries. You now there's a lot of, when you know there's a lot of stuff through GSB that goes to all different countries. I could do it if I could be bothered. It's pure laziness. I'm being straight up. GSB is just easier. Um, but yeah, so these all together cost 27p, so they would have been 9p each. So 9p each, they went for £3 each. So 27p, they cost me in total, sold for 10 made a profit of £6.43. In at number 8 were some hotter hippie women's comfort concept maroon purple leather shoes pumps UK size 7. Um, I had two pairs of these, both of them have gone. Probably the next pair will be next week. Um, yeah, I always buy hot shoes, I'll buy them. How much do these cost? 3 99 So if you know, if they're around a fiver, I'll always buy them. 
um, even if I think maybe they're not going to, um, you know, because some of the shoes I've picked them up and they've gone for like 30 to 40 quid and then some of them are around 15 to 20. Um, I won't do any research in the shop, I'll just pick them up. If they're around a fiver, I'll pick them up, you know, even if I get 15, it's like whatever. So they, it's kind of the same with these. I think I originally had them on, I think, no, these have got a mark, you can't really see it on the photos, but there's a mark on the tip of the shoe. Um, so I think I had these on for 18. So they're on for 18 quid. I've took a best offer of 15. So they cost me 3.99, went for 19 pounds. So that's be four pound postage to so 15 and made a profit of seven pounds 76. Up next, a badge again, but at least this one went for a tenner. Um, RNLI, Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Gold tone pin badge, should have had a flag in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, these ones, there's loads of RNLI ones. There's ones with characters on, um, like kind of lifeguard characters. Um, there's ones with like old boats on and stuff like that. But this one normally goes for around a tenner. I've sold one like this for a tenner before. It's only tiny. I'll see if I can... I always compare... Um, the badge next to a pound coin, so that was against the pound coin, so it was a really tiny badge. Um, so yeah, how much that, how much this cost me? So this cost me twenty one p originally. Um, went for ten ninety nine, so with a pound postage, I only charge a pound on badges, and made a profit of seven pound eighty six. Up next, some Ted Baker tinned sardines, grey denim jeans, size blah blah. Um, yeah, these were, I think these were listed for 20 um, I've sent an offer without the postage on. They were just some standard Ted Baker jeans. Um, £3 these cost me, so they've gone for £20, so that's £16 before £4 postage. And I made a profit of £9.78. So, as you, as you can tell, these first five were all under a tenner profit, so it wasn't a very good week. Wasn't a very good week at all. So the next five are all over a tenner profit. Are you excited, guys? Bet you are. Uh, in at number five, and um, Barn Fly Ranch Collection Button Up Men's Blue Fleece Jacket. Look at those keywords. Keyword king, as Panda would say. Flipping Panda who watches my videos. I am the keyword king. Um, as a, I've said this before, I picked this up because it was. Um, just looked a bit unique. Um, I think I mentioned in a video the other day I picked up a Nordic branded one. I'm not Flagell Raven or something like that. I can't remember. Um, so I picked this up on a bit of a punt. I th as it, yeah, so I put it up for 30 quid originally. Um, somebody sent me an offer of 21 from what I can tell. So yeah, this one went for 25 quid. So it cost me a fiver. It went for 25 so that's with £4 postage to 21 and made a profit of £12.07. Not bad for a bit of a punt. Up next, number four. Um, this two tanned brown wool blend men's button up winter overcoat coat, size 2XL. Uh, this one was from Stall, so thank you very much, Stall. Uh, I think I showed this in a video the other day. Uh, so, yeah, this didn't cost me anything. I think it's the size that probably I've gone for with the price. But yeah, I originally had it on for 20. Somebody sent me an offer of 16, so I've took the 16. But it's a decent coat, so thank you very much, Stall. In at number three. Uh, this one I was worried about um, the past couple of... Past week, I've been worried about this one. Um, a Dublin women's hunting horse riding brown wool blend jacket. Um, the person asked for this jacket um i think it was i think they ordered it on christmas eve and they asked for it before new year's eve and i didn't realize that the tuesday was also a bank holiday so i said i'd post it out on the tuesday completely forgot about it i didn't like message them and say um look i'm really sorry i can't post it on the tuesday it's bank holiday i didn't to be fair i didn't even check if the post office was open and then I still forgot to post it first class on the Wednesday. So I ended up posting it second class and they didn't get it for New Year's Eve. So I was like, I sent them like a groveling message apologising. 
Um, but they were all right about it, and they left positive feedback, but I did feel bad. But yeah, they paid up straight up twenty nine ninety nine for this. Uh, this one was a bit of a bore late when it comes to the size. If you can see, the size is C28. Um, took a lot of research to find out what C28 is. I might have gone with XXS. I might have just gone by the uh, measurements. Sorry, there's a little glare there in the, on the screen on the picture. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I might have just gone by the measurements with the XXS size. But they haven't complained. They've left positive feedback. They like the jacket, so it went for 30. So it cost me a fiver originally. I have picked up Dublin before. Uh, cost a fiver, went for 33.99. Made a profit of 2018. In at number two, um, this vintage Tiffany style up lighter ceiling light shade hanging gold tone rim. Had this for a while. I like these. I like light shades. I just like the pictures. I think the pictures look the bars. I do. I like doing the pictures for light shades. I don't like taking them, but I like the way they look. Um, yeah, this was originally on for fifty nine ninety nine, and I've took a best offer of forty. I think I was having a bad day, but uh, yeah. So this cost me nine pound fifty. Went for forty five ninety nine in total. So that was with six pound postage. So it went for thirty nine ninety nine, and made a profit of twenty three fifty six. But I do like my Tiffany light shades. I do like them. And in at number one. I don't know if you could hear that drum roll. Um, in at number one. Sorry about the wobbly end. With these diesel Zatan wash 0805B regular bootcut jeans. 54 99 these went for. I was well happy with this. These sold like during the night or something. I think they were going to the States. Uh, they cost me one pound fifty originally, and they went for fifty eight ninety nine. Um, so fifty four ninety nine with four pound postage, made a profit of forty two seventy eight off these. So I was well happy with these jeans. Um, I've said this loads of times before about diesel jeans. I have actually stopped picking them up. So I used to pick them up all the time. It's very hit and miss, and I haven't, I haven't worked out yet which ones are the ones of the diesel jeans to pick them up so I kind of got into a um, habit of just picking up any diesel jeans I'm not 100% there's lots of different names for diesel jeans like these are Zatan there's lots of different names and I haven't really learnt yet which ones go for the decent money um, so yeah but Zatan ones they were listed for a long time if I'm honest they were listed for probably close to a year but they've you know they've gone for the asking price for fifty four ninety nine, so I can't complain. So yeah, those are my top ten sales from the twentieth of December to the twenty sixth. I think it is. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I should have another video coming out tomorrow. I'm trying to do daily ones, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to stress myself out of trying to stick to putting ones out every day. But for now, peace out, all that jazz. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. And I will see you later. ta -ra.